Hello StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another Daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between state and Korean characters on Laralac Crest. In the bottom right of Laralac Crest, we have the Red Protoss player, it is state. And in the top left of Laralac Crest, we have the Blue Terran player, it is Korean characters, representing Nex. 2010, hmm. I wonder if that's when they were established. Would make sense. Alright, so State is an American professional per, uh, StarCraft 2 player who does main Protoss. He released a replay pack just a while ago. I figured I'd give him a shot on the channel and see what he can do. I actually did have one of my screeners go through and uh, just check out the entire pack and determine which ones were the best games, and this was deemed one of the better ones. So, can you hold and cast it? Give you some additional professional StarCraft 2 prof uh, Protoss experience. I know that Puck is very good for that, uh, but at the same time, I kind of wanted to branch out. So, here we are with State. And very excited to bring you this PBT on Alaralat Crest. I've not actually had many PBTs on Alaralat Crest, I don't think. Not recently. Anyway. But here it is. So not a ZVP, not a ZVT. Indeed, it is a PVT for those Terran fans among you. And again, I don't know who wins these games. Because again, when I get replay packs, they include both wins and losses. So we'll have to see how our Protoss player can do. And how our Korean Terran player can do. There goes the Nexus. It has a gateway expand. Cybernetics core going to come down. This is really weird placement for these buildings for state. I just... I think sometimes you want to put your buildings out here as Protoss to avoid a scan, right? So the scan from Terran comes in, sees what's over here, but not necessarily what's outside of that range. But these buildings are weird buildings to hide because the Terran player knows there's a gateway, knows there's a cyber core. Protoss really can't do much of anything without those buildings. And uh, also, there's a scouting SCV, so he'll probably see these anyway. Regardless, the probe is running around and trying to scout things out. Both players went to the wrong place initially to see where their opponent was, and now we'll scout the correct locations. Let's actually follow the SCV. And see his vision, and yes, he does see the cyber core come out. Sees the timing on the gas there as well. And that's about it. So a Reaper does pop out for the Terran player. Reaper going to run on down and see what he can kill. See what he can do. Coming out here as an adept to defend against said Reaper. And Crota boosting out the Mothership Core as well. This should be enough to handle the Reaper. The timings look really good here for State. But the Reaper's going to come down anyway. Do an additional scout to see if there's anything that he missed. That the uh, SCV did not see. Not sure that there is. But hops on up here anyway. Mothership Core going to miss it. And here comes the Reaper around that bottom side. All of these probes are actually... Oh boy, Kitty 8 charge knocking the probes back, and will the Reaper get a probe kill? No, good micro moving the wounded probe away. Mothership Core is here, Adept is here as well. The Reaper, oh man, really living life on the edge here. Taking some shots, and can it get a probe? Yes, does get a probe kill. Congratulations, Bill. The Reaper, you now have a name. Another Kitty 8 charge, but no, as soon as I name him, he dies. Oh, poor Bill the Reaper. And actually, did that cancel the Kitty 8 charge? I think it did. I think he threw down the KD-8 charge, but he died before it exploded. I don't know. Rewind that. Let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's what happened. That would be interesting. If that's how that works. SCV still scouting things around. Terran player going for more barracks. Barracks, 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 barracks. Barracks all live long day. And trying to take down... Ah, yes. The unbuildable rocks. Stim on the way for these marines and marauders as well On uh, in process of being built and trained. I guess they're being trained, right? The barracks, you go in there, a regular person, and you come out a man. I think that's the idea. Adept gets burned down by a lot of marines. Adepts are good against marines, but when they're outnumbered six to one, maybe not as good as you would expect. Nexus, hanging on out. Brothership core running around at the same time. Again, this weird placement for his buildings all along the edges here. Is he avoiding surrounds, or...? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Did he scan his own, or ping his own base there? That's what looks like what happened. Adept trying to run around and kill some stuff. The SCV actually killed that Adept. Uh, I think she might have got a single SCV kill there. Kind of sneaking around with that sonic transfer ability. But in the end, wasn't really super effective. Here comes a stim timing, I think, from these Marines and these Marauders. Here about the four minute mark. And again, with the ability of Photon Overcharge, Pylons, which is really, really good for Mothership Cores, energizes the target Pylons. Kadarian Crystal, turning it into a powerful long-range weapon for 30, 11 seconds that deals 30 damage. I'm just not sure how effective this is going to be. 
uh, for this push. Uh, assuming this pylon is finishes. I don't think one's enough, but two definitely is. Uh, pushing right on up here. Here come the Marines and the Marauders. Stim not quite finished yet. They're going to kill stuff anyway if they can. Or just march right around these pylons. Interesting, interesting. Oh, they walk right past the pylons and try to get the Mothership Core. Can't quite get it. The Adept staying out of range of that Photon Overcharge. That guy doesn't quite stay out. Moves up into the main base now. This is not good. This is not where State wants these units. Probe dying. Adept as well taking shots. The Adept's trying to stay out of the range. Just trying to bait back the army so that the probes don't get absolutely massacred. They will sacrifice themselves for the good of ire. The probes finally evacuating and here are some Adepts. But again, Stim now available. On the Marines and the Marauders, Adepts falling left and right here. Marines taken down as well because, again, Adepts do two-shot those units. But in the end, the Marauders win the day. Another going after workers. They do extra damage to armor, but they still hit pretty hard. And look at this. They are taking down uh, probes at a pretty darn quick rate here. All things considered, especially considering they have Stim here as well. So many probes are dying. Twelve probes have died. Going after the Adepts. I'm not sure that's a great idea. Oh, finally getting rid of of the Marauder here, State, with two kills on that Immortal. He was the hero of the day. So, lost tab here is three Marauders and ten Marines died in that attack. They did kill 12 probes and seven Adepts. I think one died up here, maybe two. So, maybe six Adepts is what that was. Yeah, units lost tab, 900 minerals, 125 gas for the Terran. 1,400 minerals, 200 gas for the Protoss. And 12 workers have died so far. Another push coming out for Korean really trying to make this happen double photon overcharge is good but i think there's an area over here uh, still there that they can actually skirt the terran army can get past these without worrying too much about it especially with the medevac in the air to boost them up onto this area at this same point more pylons coming down to cover that i think that's the idea mothership core with enough energy to do four photon overcharges throwing down two immediately trying to kill what they can mortal guardian shield coming up as well Mortal in the back doing a lot of damage, but getting focused down by these Marines and these Marauders and the Adepts are falling at the same time. The entire Protoss army does actually get cleaned up there. More units are warping in. Adepts trying to deal with this. Photon Overcharge getting shots off as well. Picking up, boosting into the main here is Kareen. Meanwhile, an attack back here with Adepts getting surrounded by SCVs. Marines and Marauders warping in more units up here is State. And the Warprism actually ends up falling as well. Marines, Marauders just going to town. On this worker count, probes falling all over the place, getting exploded by these units. Adepts seem to be the unit of choice for State. And again, it does really well against the Marines, but the Marauders are a huge problem. Picking up, running away again there. And how many workers are left for both of these players? Units lost uh, 9 SCVs, 22 probes. Yahoo! This continuous pressure from both of the players, actually. That War Prism drop was fairly effective. For Slate, in the end, the Adepts did get surrounded by SCVs and killed by Marauders, though, so that's kind of a problem. Warping in more and more units. Production tab shows a Dark Shrine, because why not? Another Warp Prism, as well as plus one armor and blink on the way for State. This army still here, boosting back on in, killing some stuff, and then running away, because why not? Sentries don't really hit that hard. They can't necessarily tickle this medevac to death. They're going to try, though. Gosh dang it, they are going to try. What is this called again? Disruption Beam. I guess it's not much of a killer beam, it's a disruption beam. Photon overcharge coming up again. Adepts trying to kill what they can. Double photon overcharge forcing the army back. Do they want to come along this right side here? I do not know. Going in to engage are the Adepts though. And again, doing fairly well. They're tanky units. Oh, the sentry dies. Another attack up the front here. More units getting warped in here for state. Oh, units on the back side. Marauders trying to kill what they can. The Immortal going to help with that as well. Adepts trying to focus down Marauders. This just usually doesn't work. I, uh, nope, definitely not. Another Photon Overcharge comes up, actually kills a Marauder. Can they kill another one? The Immortals trying to get rid of reinforcements that are trying to walk on up here. That's excellent, excellent play. Indeed, dropping back here, the Marines and the Marauders going to town once again, forcing a retreat from these probes. Mothership Core here trying to kill these Marauders. Nothing can really shoot up. There's a single Marine, but it's gone now. More Photon Overcharge coming up, picking up, boosting out, reinforcing with reinforcements. I guess that makes a lot of sense there. Marauders finally painstakingly being taken down by those adepts but man the adept casualties have been huge 31 adepts have died in this game that is more than i thought ladies and gentlemen that is definitely a bigger number war prism again did it do anything i don't know if it did oh wrong place here get out of there war prism run there's a liberator run for your life and it does 
Oh, but the Marines! Oh, no. Took the wrong escape route there. Pushing up. Liberator backing on out to reinforce, to regroup with the rest of the army. Immortals. Adepts. Nothing can really shoot up except for these sentries. That's kind of a problem, I think. But actually good force fields. Picking off a few Marines, few Marauders there. Nice job by State. Excellent play, actually. Staying outside of those defender mode circles, trying to kill what they can. And actually, the Immortals in the back doing some fairly good work. Four kills and five kills on those guys. Cannot walk into the circles because, again, nothing can really shoot up. Sentries cannot kill Liberators fast enough to negate that defender mode circle. Just walking past now, saying, you know what, fine, you're going to stay inside those circles. We can handle that. No, oh, but getting sandwiched here from both sides. And that's it. A GG from State. State's defeated. And Korean is victorious today. Oh, man, that final move. Just a really good positioning there by Korean, I think. Having his army up here when the Warp Prism was just kind of running around was excellent as well. Bringing reinforcements down, welcoming from the backside. State might not have wanted to put himself there, but in the end, it cost him the game. So that is it. Just continual harassment from Korean the entire game there. State getting some harassment of his own in, but at the end, it was 49 SCBs to only 30 probes. Just this continual drop play had done so much damage uh, to the Protoss economy. And then seeing Liberators come out was just so demoralizing. And that was it for State. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching today. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another Daily Legacy of the Void upload. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, you take care of yourself.